A train operating company, TOC, is a business operating passenger trains on the railway system of Great Britain under the collective National Rail brand. TOCs have existed since the privatization of the network under the Railways Act 1993. There are two types of TOC, most hold franchises let by the Department for Transport through a tendering system to operate services on certain routes for a specified duration, while a small number of open access operators hold licenses to provide supplementary services on chosen routes. These operators can run services for the duration of the license validity. The franchised operators have changed considerably since privatization. Previous franchises have been divided, merged, relet to new operators, or renamed. The term is also sometimes used to describe companies operating passenger or freight rail services over tracks that are owned by another company or a national network owner. Franchises were initially lit by the Office of Passenger Rail Franchising, OPRAF. This was in turn replaced by the Strategic Rail Authority, which has since been abolished. For England and Wales, franchising is now the responsibility of the Department for Transport in the majority of cases. In Scotland, it is the responsibility of Transport Scotland. In two parts of England, local government agencies are responsible. In Merseyside, the Merseyside Passenger Transport Executive lets the Merse Rail franchise, while in London, Transport for London oversees the new London Overground and Crossrail concessions. The Rail Delivery Group, RDG, formerly the Association of Train Operating Companies, provides a commonality for the TOCs and provides some centralized coordination. Its activities include the provision of a national timetable and online journey planner facility, and the operation of the various rail card discount schemes. Eurostar is also a member of the RDG, though it is not itself a TOC. For historical and geographical reasons the railway network of the United Kingdom is split into two independent systems, one in Great Britain, including the Isle of Wight, and one in Northern Ireland, which is closely linked to the railway system of the Republic of Ireland. In Great Britain, passenger train services are operated by a number of companies, referred to as train operating companies or TOCs, normally on the basis of regional franchises awarded by the Department for Transport Rail Group. Until 2005 this role was performed by the Strategic Rail Authority. The infrastructure of the railways in England, Scotland, and Wales, including tracks and signalling, is owned and operated not by the train companies but by Network Rail, which took over responsibility from Railtrack in 2002. Most passenger trains are owned by a small number of rolling stock companies and are leased to the individual TOCs. However, a handful of TOCs own and maintain some of their own rolling stock. Train operating companies also operate most of the network stations, in their role as station facility owners, SFO, in which they lease the buildings and associated land from Network Rail. Network Rail manages some major railway stations and several stations are operated by London Underground or other companies. All passenger TOCs in Great Britain are privately owned. The majority of these hold franchises to operate rail services on specific parts of the railway and come under the auspices of the National Rail brand. In addition, companies are able to bid for paths, specific parts of the overall national rail timetable, to operate their own services, which the franchises do not operate. These operators are classed as open access operators and are not franchise holders. Currently in Great Britain, there are two open access operators. Hull Trains runs services between London King's Cross and Hull, and Grand Central, which operates between London King's Cross and Sunderland and between London King's Cross and Bradford. In addition, there are operators that fall outside the purview of National Rail, which operate specific services which are recent additions to Britain's railways. The main examples are Eurostar, which operates to the continent via the Channel Tunnel, and Heathrow Express, which runs fast services from London to Heathrow Airport. A number of metropolitan railways on the network are operated by the local franchise holder in conjunction with the passenger transport executive or other civic body responsible for administering public transport. One of these bodies, the Merseyside Passenger Transport Executive, is responsible for one of three national rail franchises not awarded by central government, namely the Merse Rail franchise, while certain national rail services in North London came under the control of Transport for London in November 2007 as London Overground. Two other franchises, the Scottish National Franchise, currently operated by Abellio Scott Rail, and the Welsh Domestic Franchise, operated by Transport for Wales, are awarded by the devolved governments of the two constituent nations.
The Rail Delivery Group is the coordinating body of the train operating companies in Great Britain and owns the National Rail brand, which uses the former British Rail Double Arrow logo and organizes the common ticketing structure. Many of the train operating companies are in fact parts of larger companies which operate multiple franchises. The railway network in Northern Ireland is managed differently from the rest of the UK. The sole company in Northern Ireland that operates trains is NI Railways, who are a subsidiary of TransLink, the publicly owned transport corporation, which also runs the metro buses in Belfast and Ulster bus coaches around the country. NIR is not a TOC under the terms of the Railways Act 1993, which only applies to Great Britain. The cross-border service enterprise, Belfast Dublin, is jointly operated with Iron Rod Aran, the National Railway Company of the Republic of Ireland. Upon privatisation in 1994, the three passenger operating sectors of British Rail, Intercity, Network Southeast and Regional Railways, were divided, and their existing operations were led as 25 franchises. The privatisation process began when BR's passenger sectors were divided into 25 shadow franchises. These were publicly owned TOCs operating in the planned franchise areas prior to the actual franchises being put to tender. The opening of the Channel Tunnel saw operations by Eurostar begin from London Waterloo to Paris and Brussels. The franchising process was implemented, with various private companies taking over the shadow franchises. Three were awarded to management buyouts. The Great Western Holdings Management also were awarded the Northwest Regional Railways franchise. The remainder were divided between a handful of major transport operators. In Northern Ireland, NIR stopped using its own branding on the enterprise service between Belfast and Dublin when it purchased new rolling stock in conjunction with I, instead launching Enterprise as a separate brand name. Great Western Holdings, which operated Great Western Trains and Northwest Trains, became a 100% first group subsidiary when the 24.5% shareholder bought out its partners. The TOCs were renamed First Great Western and First North Western. Go Ahead Group bought the remaining 35% share in Thames Trains. Virgin Group sold a 49% share in Virgin Rail Group that operated the cross-country and West Coast franchises to Stagecoach. The completion of the rail link to Heathrow Airport led to Heathrow Express, an open-access operator outside the franchising system, beginning its services from London Paddington to Heathrow with operating rights until 2023. The shareholdings of M40 Trains were restructured with John Lang owning 84% of the company with the remaining 16% held by former BR managers. MTL which operated Mercy Rail Electrics and Northern Spirit and Prism Rail that operated C2C, renamed from LTS Rail earlier in the year, Valley Lines Trains, Wales and West, and West Anglia Great Northern were purchased by Areva and National Express respectively, resulting in the latter owning nine franchises. The two companies transferred to Areva were renamed Areva Trains Merseyside and Areva Trains Northern. The first open access operator using the national rail brand, Hull Trains, commenced running its services between King's Cross and Hull. In 2001, Connox, which had operated two franchises in the southeast of England, were replaced as the operator of the network South Central franchise by Gavia, who began operating it under the name South Central. Also in 2001, a new franchise, the Wales and Borders franchise was created by the amalgamation of Valley Lines and the majority of services in Wales and the Borders held by Wales and West. The new franchise was initially operated under the name Wales and Borders. The remainder of Wales and West's services in the west of England were renamed Wessex Trains. John Land bought out its partners in N40 Trains. Connox, having already lost the South Central franchise in 2001, was removed as franchisee of the Southeastern franchise in 2003 on the grounds of pure financial management. It was replaced as the franchise holder by Southeastern Trains, a company wholly owned by the Strategic Rail Authority, which would operate the franchise until it could be tendered again. New franchise holders are Ava Trains Wales and Mercy Rail began operating. First Group purchased GB Railways which owned the Anglia Railways and Hull Trains businesses. A policy where the majority of services, both long distance and commuter, from each London terminal would all be operated by the same franchise was partially enacted. In April 2004, one commenced operating the Greater Anglia franchise that combined the Anglia Railways and First Great Eastern franchises with the West Anglia Great Northern services radiating out from Liverpool Street. The remainder continuing to be operated as WAGN. In the north of England, 
Prior to 2004 there were two regional franchises, the Northeast Regional Franchise and the Northwest Regional Franchise. In 2004, these were altered into the Trans-Pennine Franchise, for intercity services, and the Northern Franchise, for local services that were awarded to First Trans-Pennine Express and Northern Rail respectively. Some Northwest services were transferred to the Areva Trains Wales franchise. In the same year, Thames Trains was superseded by First Great Western Link and Scott Rail, National Express, by First Scott Rail. A new operator, Heathrow Connect, jointly run by BAA and First Great Western, began operating stopping services between London Paddington and Heathrow Airport complementing the Heathrow Express. Three new integrated franchises began operating in April 2006. First Capital Connect began operating the Tenslink slash Great Northern franchise on the cross London Tenslink route and suburban services from London King's Cross and London Moorgate. First Great Western began operating the Greater Western franchise that combined express and local services from London Paddington to the west of England by amalgamating it with First Great Western Link and Wessex trains. Southeastern commenced operating the integrated Kent franchise, taking over services from London Victoria, London Charing Cross. London Cannon Street and London Blackfriars to South East London and Kent, responsibility for high-speed domestic services operated on High Speed 1 from London Street Pancras was included in the franchise. Further integrations occurred in 2007. The first of these was the Southwestern franchise, this merged the original Southwest Trains franchise with the Island Line Trains franchise on the Isle of Wight and began operating in February 2007 under the name Southwest Trains, with Island Line retained as a separate brand. In November 2007, three new integrated franchises began operating. Cross Country took over from Virgin Cross Country in parts of Central Trains and operates regional intercity services that bypass the major London terminals. East Midlands Trains replaced Midland Mainline in parts of Central Trains encompassing intercity services from London St Pancras as well as local services in the East Midlands. London Midland began operating the West Midlands franchise replaced Silverlink County and parts of Central Trains and operates stopping services between London Euston and Northampton, in addition to local services in the West Midlands in addition to these three. A further new operator, London Overground Rail Operations, took control of the routes operated by Silverlink in London, which were combined with the extended East London line in 2011. Services are controlled directly by Transport for London, with running of the trains themselves contracted to a private company as an operating concession. This is different from an ordinary franchise, as the train operator is not given control of the strategic aspects of the operation, such as pricing, timetabling and rolling stock procurement. In December 2007, National Express East Coast took over the running of the Intercity East Coast franchise from GNER. Grand Central also began operating its services between London and Sunderland as an open access operator. In January 2008, Lang Rail which owned M40 trains and a 50% shareholding in London Overground Rail Operations was sold to Deutsche Bahn, becoming part of the DB Regio Group. In February 2008, one was rebranded by National Express as National Express East Anglia to bring it into line with the East Coast franchise. In April 2008, Wrexham and Shropshire began operating open access services between Wrexham and London Marylebone. In June 2008, the Gatwick Express franchise was integrated with the South Central franchise operated by Southern. The government announced that National Express East Coast would have their franchise to operate intercity services along the ECML terminated, with the franchise passing into the hands of public sector company directly operated railways, which acted as the parent for East Coast. Grand Central Open Access Services from London to Bradford began on May 23, 2010. DB Regio's operations in the UK was integrated into those of Areva following the acquisition of the latter by Deutsche Bahn in the previous year. Going to continuing losses, Wrexham and Shropshire ceased operating on January 28, 2011. Abellio Greater Anglia began operating the Greater Anglia franchise on 5 February 2012. In September 2012, First Group was awarded the right to operate the West Coast franchise, which provoked a backlash from incumbent Virgin Trains. As a result of the Department for Transport having provided incorrect information during the bid process, the offer was withdrawn in October 2012 and £40 million of bid costs refunded. In September 2014, 
Gavia Thameslink Railway took over services formerly operated by First Capital Connect as part of the Thameslink, Southern, and Great Northern franchise and branded them as Thameslink and Great Northern. Services operated by Southern, another Gavia subsidiary, were merged into the new franchise in the following year. Hull Trains became a 100% subsidiary of First Group when the 80% shareholder bought out its partners. In March 2015, a stagecoach and Virgin joint venture trading as Virgin Trains East Coast commenced operating the Intercity East Coast franchise. In April 2015, the Scott Rail franchise was split with the Caledonian Sleeper Services becoming a standalone franchise operated by Circo while the remaining services remained as the Abellio Scott Rail franchise. In May 2015, a number of metro routes run by Abellio Greater Anglia from London Liverpool Street were transferred to TfL to run as a concession. Similar to both London Overground and Crossrail, under the name, TfL Rail. The routes transferred were those to Shenfield, Enfield Town, Chingford, Cheshunt, Rockford, and Upminster. In April 2016, First Group Trading as Transpennine Express commenced operating the Transpennine Express in its own right, previously having done so in a joint venture with Keolis. On the same date, Arriva Rail North commenced operating the Northern franchise. In November 2016, Arriva Rail London took over the London Overground concession from London Overground Rail Operations. In February 2017, Stagecoach sold its subsidiary C2C to Trenitalia. In March 2017, Abellio sold a 40% share in Abellio Greater Anglia to Mitsui. In August 2017, a first group slash MTR joint venture trading as Southwestern Railway commenced operating the Southwestern franchise. In December 2017, an Abellio, East Japan Railway Company, and Mitsui joint venture trading as West Midlands Trains commenced operating the West Midlands franchise. In May 2018, the government announced that Virgin Trains East Coast's contract would be terminated early due to financial difficulties. In May 2018, TfL Rail took over the Heathrow Connect services, which led to the introduction of Oyster and contactless payment to Heathrow Airport for the first time on National Rail. In June 2018, the company was replaced by the government owned London Northeastern Railway. In October 2018, Transport for Wales took over the Wales and Borders franchise from Arriva Trains Wales. In August 2019 East Midlands Railway took over the East Midlands franchise from East Midlands Trains. In December 2019, Avanti West Coast began operating the new West Coast partnership replacing Virgin Trains, Intercity West Coast. On March 1, 2020, operation of the Northern franchise transferred from Arriva Rail North to the government-owned Northern Trains. Because the COVID-19 pandemic in the United Kingdom caused passenger numbers to reduce to near zero, the government took emergency action to support train operating companies by assuming their financial risks. The companies were not allowed to make timetable or staffing changes without government approval. The Office for National Statistics reclassified the companies as public non-financial corporations so borrowing and employees are counted in the public sector. They were viewed as effectively temporarily renationalized. As of December 2019, there are 24 train operating companies. Avanti West Coast Abellio Scott Rail C2C Caledonian Sleeper Chiltern Railways Cross Country East Midlands Railway Gavia Thameslink Railway Trading as Gatwick Express, Great Northern, Southern, and Thameslink Greater Anglia including Stansted Express Great Western Railway London Northeastern Railway Northern Trains Southeastern Southwestern Railway, including Island Line. Transpennine Express. Transport for Wales. West Midlands Trains Trading as West Midlands Railway and London Northwestern Railway. Operators paid to run trains, does not collect the fares. Arriva Rail London, London Overground. TfL Rail, Elizabeth Line. Mercy Rail. Eurostar. Grand Central. Heathrow Express. Hull Trains East Coast trains have been granted permission to operate services on the East Coast main line between London King's Cross and Edinburgh from May 2021. The privatisation of British Rail allowed the introduction of open access operators, in which companies, upon payment of a fee, could purchase individual slots on the main line. This has led to the growth in companies offering charter trains and to the rail tour. 
Most reel-to-reel operators run services in part of the country. However, there are a handful that operate services nationwide. Usually, these will see a train made up of XBR rolling stock pulled by a hired locomotive from one of the freight companies. Occasionally, a preserved XBR locomotive that is certified to run on the mainline will be made available for such charters. A number of coastal railway stations in the United Kingdom serve to provide connections to ferry services to a number of destinations. Most of the ferry operators in these cases set their timetable to run in conjunction with the arrivals and departures of rail services from the stations serving the ferry terminals. A handful of these even offer integrated pricing for both rail and ferry travel, because the island line is part of the national rail network. Passengers can purchase tickets for travel to any of the stations on the Isle of Wight from any other station in Great Britain. This ticket also covers the cost of passage on the White Link catamaran from Portsmouth Harbour to Ride Pier Head. It is also possible to purchase ferry inclusive tickets from any station in Great Britain to Cows or East Cows on the Isle of Wight using Red Funnel ferries, although there are no rail connections from these towns. There are two main international services which operate on the railways in the United Kingdom. Eurostar runs between London St. Pancras, Paris Gare du Nord, Bruxelles Gare du Midi slash Brussels Wood Station and Amsterdam Central through the Channel Tunnel. Enterprise operates on the Irish network between Belfast Central and Dublin Connolly. A third service which is worth mentioning is Dutch Flyer, Go London in the Netherlands. This is not a separate rail service in itself, as the others are but a collaboration between Greater Anglia, Steena Line, and Netherlands Sea Spoorwagen to provide an integrated rail slash sea slash rail service between Eastern England, London Liverpool Street, Cambridge, Norwich, and the Netherlands, Amsterdam Central, using a single ticket. A further international service is provided by Venice Simplon Orient Express. Although this is primarily a rail tour operator, with special trains to various locations in the United Kingdom, it also operates the scheduled Orient Express service to destinations in Europe. This involves two separate trains, the Bellman British Pullman departs from London Victoria and terminates at Folkestone West, where passengers transfer by coach through the Channel Tunnel to Calais, at Gare de Calaisville, they then join the Orient Express which then calls at various destinations including Paris, Vienna, Innsbruck, Venice, and Rome. The differentiation between train operating companies and railway infrastructure companies was enforced by European Union legislation and can be found in all EU member countries. In Germany, train operating companies, Eisenbahnverkehrsunternehmen, EVU, are defined by General Railways Act 1993, S2, 1, Allgemeines Eisenbahngesetz, AEG, enacted December 27, 1993, as companies providing train services. They are distinct from Eisenbahn Infrastructor Unternehmen, EIU, which own and maintain the railway infrastructure. While there are many private EVU that have obtained regional franchises, only a handful of long distance EVU exist, the largest by fare being DB Fernwerker. The infrastructure is also almost completely owned by Deutsche Bahn subsidiaries.